Hey guys, and welcome back here to our Weymouth series on FM20. Today, we are back and we are about to kick off our second season here in the championship. We are kicking it off against West Ham United, a team that were just relegated from the Premier League. So we are kicking off the season with a very tough matchup. It's the battle of the W's. Can we get a big three points to kick off this season? We'll find out here after we go over a couple of things. Starting off with some players that have joined the club and have left the club. We've had a lot of movement this season, so we got a lot to go over. Of course, we will start off with the players that have joined the club. First up is a player that we actually spent money on. We bought Deroy Duarte from Willem in the Netherlands for 700000 He is a midfielder and he will be our starting defensive midfielder this season. He is a 26-year-old and he is a full international player for Cape Verde. He's made 24 appearances and has 4 goals for the national team. But yeah, as mentioned, Duarte was bought from Willem in the Netherlands where he spent his whole career in the Netherlands, making 120 appearances and gaining 20 goals for Willem and Sparta. Next up, we have a young center back, David Buckley, who we picked up from Liverpool. We've already sent him out on loan to Leighton Orient, who are in League 2. No, they're in League 1, so he's going to get some good experience there. He is 18 years old and has some really good potential. Next up, another younger player. This is Joshua Muke, a 21-year-old Dutch center back who we picked up after he was released by Utrecht. He will be our third choice center back this season. He already has made 120 professional appearances, so he has good experience for a young player. And again, he has a lot of potential. Last season, he spent time out on loan in France. And once again, another young player. This is Andy Stockbridge, who we picked up after he was released by Chelsea. 22 years old, and he's already valued at 2.6 million. Highly rated midfielder. He will be a starter for us this season. And I am very excited to see what Andy can do in the midfield with us. So we have Les and Andy, both young midfielders who hopefully can lead the team for many years to come along with our two young starting center backs McKenna and Matland we have a real opportunity if we can hold on to these players to create a very good side for many many years to come next up we have Ryan Edmondson a 24 year old striker who we picked up after he was released by Leeds United he will be our starting striker this season, and he looks like he will be a very good player for us. He looked very solid for us in preseason. I'm excited to see what we can do with him. Didn't make a lot of appearances in the last couple years with Leeds United getting promoted to the Premier League. Didn't really feature, so doesn't have a lot of game time in recent years, but I'm excited to see what we can do with Edmondson. Next up, we have our new starting goalkeeper. This is Swedish goalkeeper Pontus Dahlberg, 26 years old. He has made one appearance for the Swedish national team. He spent about seven years with Watford. He made 15 appearances with this time there. But I'm very happy that we were able to pick up Dahlberg to replace Ryan Alsop. Looks to have some really good attributes for a goalkeeper and hopefully he is able to keep out a lot of goals this season. Uh, we also have Lawrence Vos back on loan from Aston Villa. He will be our starting right back. And our last signing is Anwar El Ghazi. He's now 30 years old, but still a very good player. Can play on both sides and can fill in at striker as well. Fortunately, he did pick up a, an injury. In our last preseason game, so he's going to miss the first couple weeks of the season. But very excited to see what El Ghazi can do for us this year. We switch over to the released players. You can see that we have 
quite a bit to go over. Uh, we won't go into too much detail on all of them, but Christian and Benteke uh, one season with us, 36 appearances, 10 goals. Ryan Alsop, as I mentioned, was released. He spent two seasons with the Terras, and he made 91 appearances in both League One and the Championship. But at 33 years old, it was time for us to look for our, our future goalkeeper. Um, Ryan is still definitely a really good goalkeeper, especially for a League One side. He doesn't currently have any interest, but he should definitely be getting picked up by a team. Matt Blake has also been released by the club and has already signed for Millwall, who of course were relegated from the championship last season. But uh, he spent, what, two, three seasons with us? Three seasons, and he made 80 appearances for us. Also had two goals and 22 assists. He was really fantastic from set pieces. Hopefully he gets some playing time with Millwall. He is only 25 years old, so he has plenty of years left in his career. Next up, Joseph Alawu, uh, who we sent out on loan last season has been released. He made 84 appearances for us and got three goals. Has been picked up by Crawley, who are League 2. Yes, they're in League 2. Uh, not sure he's going to get a lot of playing time with them. He's listed as a fringe player. Next up was right back Jordan Thomas. Made 45 appearances and got two goals with this time here. He has been picked up by MK... Uh, Hopefully he does good for him, but hopefully that team does not do good. Um, he looks like he's going to be a starter for him, so he won't be getting plenty of playing time with them. Next up, Marvin Ekpetita. A uh, very solid player for us. Just at 29 years old, the amount of money um, just wasn't worth it. So we released him. He was a backup player for us last season for the most part. Um... He was our third choice, I should say, not necessarily a backup. But with his time with the Terrace, he made 78 appearances and got 12 assists. He was a very solid player for us, and he has a bid in for him right now uh, from Chesterfield. They are a League One team. He would be a fantastic pickup for him. I was hoping last season we could have gotten an appearance with the Nigerian national team. Just never happened. But he was absolutely fantastic for us, and I wish him all the best in his future endeavors. Another player release, Kundai Benyu, has already been picked up by Lincoln City. Of course, relegated last season as well, and a team that we faced many times throughout the last couple seasons, as we were both rising up the league system. With this time at the Terras, he did make 60 appearances and got 6 goals. Uh, any other one worth noting? Uh, we did release Ryan Baker, I guess. Um, he was one of our first youth players. He did make 27 appearances for the club along the way. Um, he has really fantastic finishing. 16. His physicals aren't bad. Everything else is kind of uh, a low level. Possibly League 2, but more likely a non-League team could use his services. He could also go to one of the other uh, UK nations or Ireland as well. I have those leagues loaded up. He does have Northern Irish nationality, so perhaps he will go to one of those teams. So that is all we have to go over with players joining and leaving the club preseason. I uh, won't go into too much detail. We did play uh, two Spanish teams while we were... On our training camp, we did play Granada, a La Liga team, and we got a 5-1 victory over them. Uh, other notable games, 2-2 uh, draw against Aston Villa, a Premier League team, albeit it was against a B-team Aston Villa side. We still got a draw against a Premier League team, so I'm sure that's good for our morale. Uh, we did end up losing 2-1 to Plymouth, who are either a League 1 or League 2 team. They are a League One, so at least that makes it a little better. But still, shouldn't be losing to a lower division team, especially in our final preseason game. Not, not good for us at all. 
taking a look at the league preview. We are projected to come second to bottom. Um, at the start of the preseason, before we made all our signings, we were projected to come dead last. So at least we moved up one spot, which is one spot better than what we were predicted to come last season as well. So, you know, we finished ninth last season. I think we're going to be better. So perhaps we can get into the playoffs this season. Again, as I mentioned last episode, I wouldn't be too upset if we spent another year or two in this league because we really want to get that that trophy so we can add it to our cabinet uh one cool thing is i am now a club legend but let's switch over here to our team view um we'll go over our team for today and how our team looks overall for the season coming up so today's team we have our new goalkeeper dahlberg charlie lakin is going to be starting at left back josh earl picked up uh an injury and is not quite fully match fit, so we're going to have him on the bench today. Matlin and McKenna are two center backs for today. Those sat right back. Uh, a different midfield than what we saw last season. Duarte and Stockbridge joining Les Payne in midfield. Our three attacking players will be Greenwood, Montiero, and Edmondson. Our bench will see Ellis Sims, Tom Coulson, Joshua Muka. Namdi Offerber, Jack Cooper, and Josh Earl, along with Will Valks. Um, Colson is a Youth Academy player, but we don't really have too many options for our fullbacks at the moment. The reason being that we kind of don't have any more wage budget to work with, so when we offer people contracts, it is not for a lot of money. We did release a lot of players last season. We have made a lot of new signings as well, but all the players that we need to improve our team, they just cost more money than the players we had previously, so we've maxed out our wage budget already. But yeah, that's our, our team news and team selection for today, so let's go ahead and we'll get this game underway. We are at home, and our final season here at the Bob Lucas Stadium taking on West Ham, who apparently have Tony Cruz, a 35-year-old Tony Cruz. Physical's not very good, but he can still do some damage for sure. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this underway. So kickoff is underway. Didn't really go over what I think will happen with our team this season. I think we definitely have an opportunity to be better than we did last season. My only concern is... We don't really have as much depth as we did last season. Uh, we do definitely have a better team than we did last season, but our depth is just not as good. So that could be our our downfall. Uh, that's a turnover by Lakin. I have an opportunity to counterattack here. This is dangerous, and they get the goal. Ah, Charlie Lakin. Big mistake from him. Don't know what he was doing here. And we get punished. Can't be doing that. We are now down 23 minutes into the game. Here at a sold out Bob Lucas Stadium though. It's looking nice and packed. And we do something here to give our fans something to cheer about. We could be going down by two. Big save by Dahlberg there though. I did look at Tom White before this game as well. He looks like a real threat for us. He already has one goal today. Hopefully we can keep that at one. That was a professional foul by Anderson, who will pick up his yellow card there. Duarte looking a bit nervous out there. Stockbridge also looking anxious at times. Both making their debuts for the club. And there is halftime. Down 1-0 to West Ham. Here's just a quick look at Tom White. Valued at $79 million at 21 years old. So, yeah. <laughs> a real threat, like I said. But we need to do better here in the second half. I'm very disappointed that we conceded off of a mistake from our own selves. So we need to do better here in the second half. See if we can find a way to get a goal here. 
do have a highlight here. We win the ball back with a header away by McKenna, and we create something out of this opportunity. Edmondson has a shot, he bangs it off the crossbar. Was that not a back pass? Did he head that or something? Didn't see, I just saw it get passed back to the goalkeeper. There it is, Andy Stockbridge puts it in the back of the net after some sloppy defending from a corner. It is all tied up at one, 60 minutes gone now. Look at that, Andy Stockbridge. Goal on his debut. Going to make a substitution as well. We will bring on Ellis Sims for Montiero, who is not looking too good out there today. So Sims will come on in his place. It's a free kick for West Ham. Oh, that header looked like it was going to find the back of the net. Does go just over and we survive. Going to be another highlight for West Ham, but we're going to make a substitution. Going to bring on Volks for Duarte in midfield. See if we can defend this opportunity from West Ham. Good job, Greenwood. They pick the ball right back up. This is dangerous. Oh, he beats his man. Uh, big save by Dahlberg, though. Keeping it deadlocked at one. We'll make our final uh, substitution. I'm going to take off McKenna. He's looking nervous out there. We cannot be having that from one of our center backs. So Joshua Muke will be making his debut today. He is left-footed. Uh, Matland is also left-footed. So we will have two left-footed players out there. But I think we will be all right. I'm just going to tell Muka there's no pressure on him today. Just play your natural game, and we have faith in you. Final 10 minutes of the game. Can we push for a winner here, boys? Uh, Muke picks up a yellow card about 20 minutes after coming on. We do have a, a late highlight here, and it is us on the ball. Oh, go on, Sims. Oh, Ellis Sims has a shot, and it goes just wide. Guess on that's going to be our final chance of the game. And that was our final chance of the game. Full time is blown. It ends 1-1 here between Weymouth and West Ham. So we pick up a point against a recently relegated West Ham. We have some really good players. So that is a very good point for us to kick off our season. So there is the league table after... The majority of teams played their first game. We sit in 14th place after that draw. So not a bad way to start off our season against, like I said, a very tough opponent. I believe they were projected to finish top of the table. They were. So a very good point indeed. But that is where this episode will be coming to an end. As always, make sure you leave the video a like if you have enjoyed it. And subscribe if you are new around here. Until next time, it's been your Boyd147.